Today we decided to share an obstetric simulation with you and we focused on safety quality, including the proper use of a checklist. This is a 35-year-old female who's got a G1P0 at 39 weeks gestation. She was seen from, by her obstetrics office for induction of labor due to gestational hypertension. Her blood pressure on admission was 148 over 98, and her initial labs are within normal limits. Her only medical history is she's had a history of asthma, which she does use an inhaler, PRN. She has received three doses of mesio, followed by oxytocin induction protocol. She has been on oxytocin for 26 hours. The estimate fetal weight of her baby is 4,000 grams. She is currently has a category one fetal heart rate tracing and are contracting every two to three minutes. Her second stage of labor has been prolonged. She has been pushing for a little over three hours now. The nurse just called the doctor and they're ready to deliver. So let's go take a look into the delivery room, everybody. doing some involuntary pushing. We're going to have to wrap this up. Let me call Dr. Nowicki. Dr. Nowicki for delivery, please. Dr. Uh, Nowicki. Uh, All right, what you got? I got nothing. Oh, I got a full house. Read him and weep. Hey, Mom, how you Let's doing? Go. Hey, oh. Carrie, Deb, what are, you, are you guys playing cards? Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay, wait. Awesome. Come on, we got to get... Doc, I got how you doing? How are we doing in here? Is she starting? I think right. she's ready. Let ready? me go ahead and get him up, guys, okay? I'll be right there, Mom, okay? One sec. You're blowing out candles. You're doing great. Thanks, Carrie. Oh God. I gotta push, I have to push. Just gotta oh, get some gloves, Mom, okay? Blow, blow like you're blowing out candles on a cake. You got this. Just wait for Dr. Ricky. He's gonna get it. Good job. You're doing great. Okay. Beautiful job. You're gonna have a baby. Okay, Mom, let's take a look and see how we're doing. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm ready to push, Doc. Good. Okay. I'm ready to push. Let's take a look. Well, I can already see the baby's head. Right. You're doing okay. great. Alright, I'm ready. Right, nice I'm ready. Okay. And go for it. Oh, okay. great. Okay. <gasps> I see the baby's head. You're doing great. All right, take Feel a that breath. Pressure. You can go again. Good job. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Push. All right. Oh, one big push. Okay. All right. Oh, it's a boy, Mom. Congrats. All right. All right. Baby looks just a little cyanotic. We'll cut that clam. Okay. The cord there. Okay. Good job, Mom. Oh, I don't see any. Oh, yeah, yeah. No laceration, Carrie, okay? Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. please, my camera. You feeling okay? Doing yeah. good? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. congrats, would you, would Mom. Would you mind taking pictures? No, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Do you want me to get some with you at the delivery yes. nurse? Oh, that's okay. so nice. Thank you. Did you come up with a name yet? No. No? Okay. No. You don't want to know when you're after the doctor? Okay. So, Mom, listen, we, the baby's out. We just have to take care of the placenta and, okay. and deliver that, okay? Um, do you want to try breastfeeding? Okay. All right. Oh, thank you. Good, Mom. Such a good Doing job. great. Doing great. Okay. Oh, we just got that placenta. The first couple of hours, so okay. yeah. Okay. Okay, and we got the placenta out. Oh, yeah. what? Okay. okay. It felt a gush. There, yeah, there's just a little bit of blood there, what Mom. Was that? All right, hold on. Sorry, okay. All right. Good? So, Kara, there's a little bit of bleeding, okay. definitely. Breastfeeding causes cramps, so you know you might have a yeah, little bit more bleeding. Bit. Yeah, you'll yep. be fine. Yeah, got some... totally normal. But he looks great. His heart rate's great. Okay, all right, mom. Could you, could you all stop right. pushing on my No, I'm sorry. Stuff. I have to just push a little bit. Great. The fungus is a little boggy there, Carrie. Pit's is that running. Pit's going? Yeah, you okay. straighten your arm. Oh, okay, there's some yeah, You know what? Let's change your breastfeeding side so that way you can okay. keep that arm straight. We got some, definitely yeah. a little bit of blood. Okay. Okay, I fixed it. It should be going now. Okay. You should. It is running. Um, yeah, it's just running slow. This IV isn't really I even good. have some clots here. So. Oh, okay. What, what's the EBL? EBL? I don't think know. Think it looks like maybe four or 500 ml. Oh, all right. I'm sure she'll be fine. Okay. All right. Sure. All right, Mom. I can, I can, I can weigh just got to push a little more here, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Could you please stop? I'm sorry. I really don't feel well. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. You know what? Uh, she's yeah. still still bleeding. Maybe do we have uh, hemabate that we can try? Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, Mom. You feeling um, okay? No. How's her vitals insane. doing, Carrie? Are we doing okay there? Uh, What's her heart see. rate now? Heart rate's 120 right now. Okay, Last you blood pressure okay, was 89 Mom? over 50. You look like you're, you're yeah, not feeling too good. I feel okay. like I'm going to pass out. Uh, do we have a BP cycle in there? Here? All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Still bleeding. Right. Okay, you want the okay. hemabate? 
I'm really yeah, go ahead with the hema bee. Mom, we're going to give some medicine that's going to help stop medicine. the bleeding okay. and make it feel all better, okay? All right, administer hema right. All right, team. Great sim today. How do you think that went? How did you feel after that? Oh, it was fantastic. I think it went really well. <laughs> I think it was a great sim, too. So if we went through this case and tried to do it again, is there anything you guys can think of we might have done differently? Well, you mentioned the EBL was about 500. Yeah. And at that point, I realized we probably should have had the checklist in front of us that would have um, provided us with the indication of a possible hemorrhage. OK, great. I'm hearing this is a, possibly a hemorrhage here. Are there any signs or markers, things we could have used to predict that this would be the situation? Well, if we had used the checklist, I would have known that we should have been quantifying the blood loss. So I should have been taking all the pads and weighing them. So we would have had a more accurate estimate of what she was actually losing. Excellent. And so I, I think I heard in there you mentioned a checklist. Tell me more about that. Well, if I had the checklist in front of me, I would have realized that um, Leah actually was a moderate risk for postpartum hemorrhage um, based on an estimated fetal weight of 4,000 grams, based on a prolonged mm. second stage of labor, the prolonged use of oxytocin. And those are markers that would have indicated I should have maybe had a team prepared, um, and I would have known how to proceed if that should have happened. Excellent. And so back to that checklist, if you think we had been able to implement that, could that have changed the case for us today? Yeah, I think we would have skipped giving her the hemabate because it's contraindicated in asthmatics, and I think we would have realized it wasn't a first-line agent, so we would have just gone ahead with other options. Excellent. I think we found some great areas for improvement. Why don't we take this opportunity to go review that checklist and see if we can do even better next time, guys? Bye. All right.